We are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children. Seven of them are adopted, and we are a family of 10, and this is Live in Large. I get a lot of questions asking, how do I feed a family of 10? Where do I put the food? Where do I store it? So I'm gonna show you all of our freezers and fridges. I have two refrigerators, and then I have a small fridge, and then I have one, two, three, four, five more freezers to store all our food. This is my main refrigerator. It's an LG, I love it. And so this refrigerator is for things that I use daily. Things that I know we're gonna need to access. That's my butter drawer. I usually put butter in here too, but I've been doing a lot of baking, so I stuck some eggs in there. And what's really cool about this fridge is just a handle, and you can access the ice machine, and then close it all up. And what's also really cool is when you close this door, it has a fast access door. So if you wanna grab creamer for coffee, if you wanna grab creamer for coffee, if you wanna grab creamer for coffee, voila, done. So I really love that. And what's really nice too is this drawer here is, is able to be pulled out or pushed back if you have things that are a little higher. Um, vegetable drawers, and then right here is a deli drawer, but you can do different things. You can change the temperature depending on what you wanna put in here, but I usually put our meats, our cheeses, um, anything for lunches go in this one. And then one of my favorite freezers here, we'll close this up. One of my favorite parts of this fridge is my freezer. I love how it pulls out. I don't like to bend over, like bend down and search into things, so I love the drawers. But this freezer is designated for my baking. I put my butter, it looks like I need some more butter. Um, all my baking chips go in here and butter. That This freezer is strictly for me baking. Now we're gonna head into here. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing? I'm, I'm showing them our food stuff. Here is, I'm not on TikTok. So here is our refrigerator that I surprised my husband with. It is our drink refrigerator. Cause my husband always asks us to get a drink, to get a drink. So I, I'm not on TikTok. So I surprised him and I brought this refrigerator in and used it as an end table. So I thought that putting this in here in the house would irritate me, but actually I put a cute lamp on it. And so it just kind of looks like an end table. And now we're all taking advantage of that refrigerator for my husband. Okay, so now I'm gonna go out to the garage here. This is where my backup refrigerator is and our first full freezer. All right, so here's my backup freezer. Um, just, I put things in here that I know I'm gonna need. Sausage, veggies, tater tots. We love tater tots. And then here is my backup fridge. We're actually having pizzas tonight. Um, and this is just for like milk, juice, things I can't fit in the first fridge. And then here is our first freezer. This is actually my kid's favorite. This is our ice cream freezer. Look at this, $2, Coco, Pe Coco Pebbles ice cream. And so this is just designated strictly to ice cream. Look at that. All that ice cream. And I got these on Amazon. They're actually recycling bins. Um, so it's easy to access the ice cream underneath. So this is our first full freezer. So I guess you could call it the third freezer. And this is our ice cream freezer. Now I'm going to head over to the barn to show you our other freezers. Um, I am kind of compulsive. I like things organized. Yeah, it might be a little over the top but I'm cooking for 10 people and usually more. Like right now, Gideon just walked in with two of his friends. So usually we have probably close to, I don't know, 14 people total all the time. So I have to be ready to grab things. I wanna know where things are. So that's why I'm so organized. So we're gonna head over here to the barn and I'm gonna show you Frieza number two. I'm walking through the snow here, it's trying to melt. We got. Our snow's finally melting, look at this. Basketball court is ready to be played on. So now we're gonna head over to the barn to show you the rest of my freezers. Okay, so now we're gonna come into the barn and I'm gonna show you um, our other areas. Blech. I just got mud all over my shoes. This is where we actually process our eggs. Turn the light on. Um, yeah, this is where we process our eggs, right over here. So I'm gonna show you uh, my other uh, things that we do here. The first two freezers I'm gonna show you is our chicken freezer and our pork freezer. So this is freezer number two, and this freezer has all of our chicken, fish, and turkey. We have some fresh chickens down there. 
Um, and I actually had a hard time finding chicken, so I had to stock up. Right now, our freezers are kind of bare just because, you know, we've been eating. Um, but whenever I find a deal or something, I do try and stock up. I think we might raise some chickens this year, you know, just so we can be prepared. And this is actually our pork freezer where we put our bacon. Um, this is all sausage. Uh, and um, we have um, roasts and ribs. So this is our pork freezer. So our last two freezers are our beef freezer. And then I have a freezer designated for, um, I, I usually plant a really big garden. And so I not only can my vegetables, but I also freeze them. And I also make lots of bread. So I have two freezers, one for my beef and then one for all my baked goods and for um, the vegetables that I can, or actually the vegetables that I freeze. All right, so here is our beef freezer. Um, it has all of our ground beef, um, steaks. Looks like we, uh, we're getting kind of low, but this is our beef freezer right here. And I think we might have some venison in there too, but this is our beef freezer. And then this one here, let's take this chair out of the way. This one is all my vegetables that I freeze. Corn, I got butternut squash. I got, look, I got some hash brown potatoes. That's good to know. Um, and then green beans. And then this is all of my breads that I made this fall and I freeze them and we slowly come over here a little bit at a time. I have, I have pumpkin bread, I have zucchini bread, chocolate chip banana bread. So this is my freezer with my vegetables and all my baked goods. And I know some of you might be like, wow, that's like a little over the top. But you know what, we have 10 people, 10 adults eating. And I, I really don't wanna have to depend on going to the grocery store all the time. So I really try and be wise, try to be organized, trying to do as much as we can so we're not having to constantly be buying things. I do try and make a lot of things from scratch um, just because I think it's a lot cheaper just with our family of 10. You know, we can't just go to the store and buy, you know, cases of pop and Oreos and stuff because we have so many people that it just costs a lot of money to eat that way. So I really try hard to make as much as I can from scratch, to really be prepared, to be organized, just because I feel like our family can be successful when I'm when I'm constantly trying really hard to make sure we're organized, make sure we, we prep for meals, make sure we have everything on hand. If something's getting low, then I try to fill it. Um, but this is just, this is what works for us. And it allows us to be a blessing to others also by trying to be organized and having extra things on hand because you know, people will call me, hey, these people need this, just like our eggs. You know, we have an egg farm and we're constantly giving eggs away because we just wanna be a help to those around us. So this is how I feed a family of 10, how we store our food, and you know, this is kind of the behind the scenes of how I get to make all of those yummy, yummy meals.